plastic, you can bend it, which a lot of people are amazed at. Um, to demonstrate how strong they are, uh, one of the things that um, we like to show people is, I put my nine stone on it, and as you can see, <laughs> it completely doesn't break at all. It's fast to serve, it's easy to peel, the consumers love it, they can pick one, two, three up, go back to their seats, it's perfect for them. I walked on they looked like a load of midgets because there's something funny about the chairs there <laughs> and the way they sit they're kind of and it gave me this real ah oh, you know this would be a walk in the park so I kind of swanked on showed them my brilliant product and in my mind I was thinking right okay I'll have you I'll have you I'm not having you <laughs> and you two are really gonna have to row between each other because I'm not having you two either so, you know, it, was, it wasn't quite the way it went, though. <laughs> I don't know if any of you saw it, but in a nutshell, it was absolutely awful. And then um, the next day, I was absolutely gutted. Their advice, sound advice this was, um, James Kahn, because I wanted to go to America, I wanted to take my product to America. Someone nodding down there, you obviously saw it. <laughs> but um, James Kahn told me that America is the graveyard of all British businesses. And <laughs> Theo Pathetis told me that if I even thought about going to America, they would eat me alive. <laughs> and the others just really told me how stupid I was and how I needed to go home and forget everything, you know, forget about it and... So there you go, that was their advice. After a few days, when I stopped crying, I had to decide, right, I either listen to these business gurus, they obviously know their stuff, or I know I've got a great product, key, I know I've researched my market and I know there is a market, out there for my product and like it's my life and I can either forget it and then when I get to 60 or 70 think what if or I can put everything I've got into this product and I can ignore the gurus and go to America and make it work. So being obstinate I decided I would ignore them. Got on a plane to America, spent all my money on a full container load of dog bowls that I had land in Chicago and meet me there. So we'd done the filming in April. I came back some months later and I'd managed to get on Amazon.com in America and get in some of the bigger stores. And so when Dragon's Den was filmed in September, which to me I decided that I was going to leave the country and never be seen again because it was too embarrassing. <laughs> and that's serious. <laughs> but when it was filmed in September... Um, by that time, the road refresher had actually become the fastest selling dog bowl on Amazon.com and was being used by the fire and emergency services, and it was a success in America. So the dragons... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. OK. As a country, we waste millions of tonnes a year, primarily due to uh, best before dates, uh, essentially. Um, we own all of our uh, intellectual, uh, in intellectual uh, 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 property and we've developed this in-house. I, 
I totally agree with Deborah. Um, what well, they say to the business, I can't see it making a huge profit, and that's what it is. It's a breaking even business that gives you a wage. So I'm going to have to say I'm sorry, but I wish you the best of luck. But I'm out.